Soundhound, ticker symbol S-O-U-N. Now it's time to get ready for the upcoming week with Sensei. He's put together a full technical chart analysis for you so you can be prepared and hopefully make some money on the upcoming week. And now on with the video. Thank you, Martin. Yes, let's have a look at Soundhound AI, ticker symbol sound. Oh, no, sorry, ticker symbol S-O-U-N, um, sound without the D. So yes, let's have a look at it. Let me show, give you a quick update. I'm sure a lot of people have been following on from our previous video, so I won't do a full um, technicalized chart. You can refer back to the um, Soundhound AI um, playlist where you can see all the chart reviews that I've done on this stock um, and also the earnings, which is important to have a look at. So sound is at an area where I think it's trying to accumulate, where it's trying to back test. Um, I forgot to say, if you don't mind, please hitting the like button. That'll be very, very greatly appreciated. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. But yeah, sound, um, obviously we've been covering it. We were buying it around $2.50, even around the um, in, in the $1 area, $1.50, $1.75. It had its massive push up to $10. Our take profit was at $8.72. And then what I said is, is it's, it should come back and retest this big green box. It used to be all this resistance. If it's going to be a nicely moving up stock, not something that just goes up in a straight line, something that has the momentum, but also the structure to back that momentum, um, it has to come back and test these technical levels, which it has done. It came back perfectly. It came back very quickly, um, but it came back down to these moving averages. It tested the box, um, the resistance box, which is now support. It's headed back above it and now it's giving us another support so for me soundhound is looking great um it's looking great for a short-term trade it's looking great for a long-term buy as well so around these areas i'll be buying and trying to target the seven dollar ninety level um with a, with a trade as well as my long-term position and then we're trying to target the $8.72 level um, and then if it does break $8.72 we have higher targets um where we're where, where we'll look at if needs be but for right, right now for this week's chart analysis we're seeing if we can try and make a trade um where we can go up maybe 25 percent um and then even higher to 55 percent this might take a couple weeks um but at least we're trying to get back up to that six um six dollars first which is about a 21 percent move to the upside of course it can come back down and try and test these moving averages again so if that does happen, I do have buy orders set up around the um, $4.20 level um, and you can turn that into a trade as well where you just have your stop loss um, below the $3.80 and your take profit back at around um, $6. So if that does happen, you can enter a position at $4.20 as well. Um, but it looks like the best risk to reward situation is trying to buy it where we are right now um, and have your stop loss set up. So if it does stop you out, you have another area to get in. You don't want to be holding these stocks and just continuously making losses and then buying in lower because the dollar cost averaging, you're going to it's going to be hard to get a very nice average price. It's better to have your stop loss, have your risk management and buy in at a certain level to um to act accordingly um, and for me this this green box is a buy level um, and we're back at it and we're testing it and we're trying to target that $8.72 and you look at some um, indicators and they're, they're on our side as well the RSI is above 50 um, 52 which is in the bullish control zone plenty of room to run to the upside the MACD is in our favor it's in the green the momentum is on our side so the earnings went well um, so it looks like it should continue higher into the next earnings session. Um, if you have any other questions, leave them in the comment section. But for now, I'll pass it back to you, Martin. Thank you. Thank you, Sensei. Great job as always. For further information on Soundtown, click above my head. Down below in the description, you'll find a, a pinned to the top of the description uh, the links to more Soundtown videos. And over here and over here, I'll put events that I think is relative to you for Soundtown. Until next time, as always, take care of yourselves and each other.